So let's continue with this introduction tutorial. So we have here a tab with a repertory open and a tab with references with a few material medicas open. In the top menu bar you have the main button search with a little sub button uh, with a triangle in it. If I click on it you see there is find and find a rubric starting from the current. Let's concentrate on these two. So, by the way, I use the, the word rubric and symptom interchangeable. In fact, in the Materia Medica, you speak more of a symptom and in the repertory more of a rubric, but I will use a symptom also in the repertory. The first method to go to something is when you know exactly where it is located. So, Let's say in a repertory I want to go to mind jealousy, so I know exactly it's in mind and then the rubric jealousy. And if I have a materia medica open and I know that I want to go to a certain remedy, for example, zincum, I know I'm in Burke and I know exactly how to go to it. So actually, let's stay here in this uh, book. I'm in Burke. I want to look up zincum. In the left upper corner, I click on the binoculars. In this case, I have to do remedies, and on the keyboard, I start to type Z, I, and I'm there. Actually, it was enough just to do the letter Z, and on the keyboard, I press Enter, and if I press Enter again, I do this button at the bottom, which has a thick line around it, which means it's the default button. So on the keyboard, I press Enter, and I go to Zincom. So that was very easy. You just click on the binoculars, then I go here to remedies and the structure is a bit different uh, depending on which book you are in. I do remedies and let's say Belladonna. Oh, I did a mistype. I do Belladonna, enter, enter, and I'm at Belladonna. So the same in the repertory. So in a repertory, it goes in a similar way. In the left upper corner, I can click here on the binoculars. Then, for example, mind. I want to go to jealousy. So I can click here G, and then I'm on jealousy. And I don't want any of these sub rubrics, so I click here at the bottom on go to. And I'm here at the rubric jealousy. Now, this was nice working with the mouse, but with a keyboard, you go much faster. So let's say I want to go to uh, Mind uh, Fear uh, Animals. I know exactly where it is, so it's in the chapter Mind, and then Fear, and then the subrubric uh, Animals. So on the keyboard, I can just start to type. I don't need to click anywhere on the keyboard. I just start to type M, and I see there are a few chapters left, so I do I, and then Enter. Then I do F-E-A, Fear, I press enter and I do animals and I press enter. There are a few sub rubrics, but I don't want to go to them. I press enter and here I am in the repertory. This is called the symptom path. Mind, fear, animals. And you see the hand is pointing to animals. So let's take this symptom into the clipboard. I just point to it and I hold down my mouse key and I drag it to the left and let it go on the first clipboard. It's called the symptom clipboard. So I let go and you see a little one below it to indicate that a symptom is added to this clipboard. So that's easy. You just do chapter, then the rubric, then the sub rubric. So for example, uh, head, H, E. I do enter and I say pain, enter. And then I say in the forehead, and in the morning on waking, enter, enter, and there I am. And I want to take it also. I do it with drag and drop, and I also put it in clipboard number one. So now I want to take another symptom which is located near to where I am. So I want, for example, head pain in the morning and not just forehead. I want the general rubric head pain in the morning on waking. Then I click here in the symptom path 
on the location where I want to go to. So I say head, pane. So I click here and it opens the find window or also called the navigation window on this location. So I'm, head, I'm now in head, pane. And then I say in the morning and then on waking. And then I do enter, enter. And here I am. And you see this is on waking. So I point to the word on and I drag it also to this clipboard and I let go and it's in the clipboard. So you have done already find a symptom completely from the beginning. So chapter, rubric, subrubric, or you want to uh, take a few symptoms which are located near to each other, then you can do find from current and that you can do by clicking here on the symptom path. But there's another trick if on the keyboard I press the backspace. Now, I am now located on head, pain, morning, waking, and there are a few subrubrics. So when, I, when there are subrubrics and I press backspace, I open the find window exactly from that position. If there were no subrubrics, I would jump automatically one level up. If on the keyboard I press again backspace, and again backspace, I'm here at head, pain. So let's say it was a, a spot in the forehead and I say head, pain, forehead and I say spot, enter, enter. Okay, and I drag it here to this clipboard number one. Now I find this symptom a little bit uh, small. There are just only three remedies in and if I click here on the authors, then I can see where it's coming from. This is a modern uh, source. This remedy is coming from a subrubric. And here you see Illumina. It's coming from H2 and KL. So um, it's actually a modern small rubric. So I'm wondering, do I have the correct rubric? Isn't there a more general rubric which has uh, more remedies in it? So, and then you need to do search, searching on words. Well, that I will explain in the next tutorial. So, to summarize, if you know exactly the location of a rubric, you can always start to type the first characters of the chapter, then the rubric, then the subrubric. So, let's say food and drinks, uh, alcohol, desire. On the keyboard, I start to type G and I already have the chapter generals, I press enter and I do F O. I need another O and I'm at for food and drinks, press enter and I say alcohol and I say D and I desire, I do enter, enter, I'm here. Okay, so there are more clipboards and this I will explain in more detail later, but just for now let's drag it here to the second clipboard. Okay, so that's go to a rubric when you know exactly where it is. Then you can do find from current, and that's here in the symptom uh, in the symptom path. You click on the location where you want to open the find window, or on the keyboard you press backspace. So let's do the backspace. I back, do backspace and again backspace, and you see with each backspace it drops a level. So I think this was it for this video. In the next one, we will explain how you can search for symptoms if you do not know where they are located.